Hi guys, Jay here from borntoproduce.com, good to have you with us. Welcome to the new and updated GrooveAgent SE tutorial. I'm going to be going through all the basic things that GrooveAgent can do and how to get around the software and also hopefully I'll show you a few things that you perhaps are not aware of as well. Feel free to skip this part if you you know if you have used GrooveAgent before. This lesson is going to be very very basic for people that have never seen it before and have no idea what it is and what it does. So feel free to move on to lesson two or three if you have used GrooveAgent before and are just looking for a little bit more extra information. So what is GrooveAgent? In layman's terms, GrooveAgent is a digital drum machine for people that like the hands-on approach. You know, like tapping keys or tapping a pad which in turn triggers a sample you know drum sample or whatever it can be and you can manipulate those samples as well as you can see from the interface it's designed to look like an old drum machine like the Akai MPC or something like that and it's not just a drum machine it also acts as a sampler so you can load your own samples into it and manipulate them like you would expect to in a sampler and this Groove Agent plugin was very very handy before the Cubase 9 sampler track actually came along so it's split into two main sections. You've got Beat Agent and Acoustic Agent. Beat Agent is more for your electronic drum samples and Acoustic Agent is more for acoustic drums, live drums, where all the various drums that make up a live kit, cymbals, kick drums, snares, toms, have all been sampled and recorded with many, many different microphones and in different placements. We'll get to that in the second half of this course. And with Beat Agent and Acoustic Agent, there's tons and tons of kits already made for you, which you can just load up with the touch of a button, or you can completely make your own kits, or a combination of the two. This plugin is absolutely superb. So let's start with the Beat Agent first. Let's first we'll show you how to bring up Groove Agent. So I would normally right click and add Instrument Track, and then just choose Groove Agent SE from the Drum drop down, and click Add Track. You can also come to plus here, do the same thing that way. Or you can come over to the right hand side, click VST and click plus. And you can do it that way. So as you can see, when you first set up Groove Agent, it loads with all blank pads. There's nothing loaded into the memory as yet. So it's a good opportunity for us to have a look around this plugin. As you can see, you have 16 pads. So that's 16 worth of samples and you have eight banks as well, this is only bank three. You've got bank two, bank one, all the way up to eight. All mapped across your keyboard as you can see, C1, C sharp one, D1. When you come down a bank, it drops down an octave. And therefore, you've got eight banks of 16, which is 128 samples on this one particular kit. So huge scope for having a massive library. You've got mute and solo buttons on each pad. You've got the key, on your keyboard that it's assigned to, C1. It's velocity sensitive, so when you click at the bottom of the pad, let me just show you by loading a quick kit. Incidentally, just make sure this orange button is pressed here because it loads patterns as well. We'll come on to patterns a bit later. Click load kit. You've got all different styles of kits and very good descriptions of the kit so you can load up your urban hip hop or electronic dance easily you can just find them easily so just any old one will do for now double click and you can see we've now got kick shaker snare cowbell etc etc so what i was saying was about the velocity if you click at the bottom of the pad it's quite a low volume and if you click at the top it's quite a high volume and obviously it ranges throughout the pad And of course you can jam along on your keyboard and that's pretty self-explanatory. You've got loads and loads of edit features. Obviously you just click on the pad you want to modify. You've got volume, pan, you've got pitch controls. You've got routing, we'll come on to that later. Playback quality, you know, you can have turntable or vintage, whatever. And you've got lots of filters like bit reduction, rate reduction, tube drive. So rate reduction obviously is very obvious. And you've got cutoff filter. 
with residents as well. So you've got no end of filters and that there. You've also got in this section here, over by the display of the sample, you can change the start, the start point, the start fade in point, or obviously you can make the end point, you know, a bit sooner. So it makes the kick a bit more snappier, for example. So for example, a sample with a long tail, you can just cut that off. So you can hear that's obviously a lot quicker sample now. And you've got pitch envelopes to modify the sound, filter envelopes, amplitude envelopes, lots and lots of tools for uh, changing the sample. You've got slices, we're going to come to that later on as well. You've got MIDI effects. I'll just click on snare and activate the flam. So a flam is like a several hits at once. You can change all the various parameters for that. You've got bars, roll, no end of options there. And you've got MIDI delay as well. Just turn off that one for a second and just show you the delay. And can go up in pitch, can go down in pitch. No end of parameters you can change to your desire. So this is all within the edit tab. You've got a mixer, you've got a fully you know established mixer within Groove Agent as well, which you can make use of or you can route your samples out of Groove Agent into Cubase. I'll be showing you how to do all that. So you can use the Cubase mixer if you wish and Cubase plugins or third party plugins of course. And we'll be going through all this a bit later on. This is just a basic overview. So just a quick look at the mixer then. Your mixer goes, signal flow goes from left to right. So you've got the agent tab, auxes for sends like reverbs, kits and master. Everything goes for the kit and then the master. So just for example, if you're on, on aux one, you want to send out some reverb, for example. So just click on reverb, come back to snare, click on edit and then sample, not sample, uh, amp, sorry, and just turn up your aux one send level. You're now getting reverb. You're now sending a copy of that signal to the reverb auxiliary. And of course, you can adjust this with the amount of send. We'll be going through the mixer in more detail later on. So as I said to you, there's loads of kits to load up that come with Groove Agent. You can add your own samples and make your own kit and save it. We'll be doing all this later on. Or you can have a combination of the two. So just to quickly show you how that would work. Just going to come to my file browser in my media bay. Let's just choose anything like that snare there, for example, let's replace the snare that's already in there with this one. So basically when you go to drop a sample onto a pad, you've got three options. The top one drops the sample onto the pad, but keeps any existing sample there already. So let's just demonstrate that. So now this pad has two samples on it, a snare and my snare, the one I've just dropped in. And basically these are velocity sensitive. So the lower velocity we hit the key or press on the pad, it plays this one and at some point it will flick over so halfway through the velocity it'll flick over to the other sample we're going to go be going through this in more detail as well so don't worry about that and the benefits and why you would do this but this just to let you know this can be changed so you've got less velocity required to sample the second trigger this is only really beneficial when you've got say eight different kick drum velocities sampled and you really want them linked up to how hard you hit the key so therefore you get a more real sample and a more real kick drum because you've got eight different sets of velocity we'll be showing you how to do that as well so another option when dropping the second option is to replace which is what we're going to do right now so now we only have the snare that i've just pulled in that's the second option down the third option is if you want to say bring in three different uh, samples all at once, bring them all in and choose the bottom option. And now you can see that the three pads are highlighted. The two next to the one that's highlighted right now are highlighted right there. 
because it's going to drop them in all those three pads. So you've got so you've got build snare eight, build snare nine. Watch up here for the name of it, and build snare ten. It's dropped them on consecutive pads. So you've got three options when loading samples. Just going to quickly show you the the eight layer possibilities that I was talking to you a second ago about. Can you see this snare? It's got quite a few samples layered into it and they're all different velocities so so this preset kit has already been loaded with multi velocity layers really great all done for you fantastic also going to do this on my keyboard pressing lightly and harder so a lot of the work has been done for you guys, it's really fantastic. So as I said to you, you can bring in your own samples, you can edit them as much as you like, manipulate them as much as you like, pitch, filter, put effects on them. So you can spend time getting all your kit together, all the samples that you want, all changed, all with effects, all with whatever it is you want on your kit. And just come up here, right click, and do save kit as. You can also export the kit so if you wanted to go, go off to a session with a friend or a musician or something and they use Logic, for example, you could just take your kit with you with all the samples loaded up and you can still either use them as just as samples or if they've got Groove Agent as well, which can be used standalone. You know, you can load all the samples into the Logic sampler and the MIDI patterns as well. So it's really, really great. So just quickly before we go, you've got right click options as well. So you can set the color of the pad. You can rename the pad, you can do the outputs of that, we'll be coming on to that later. Cut, copy, you know, reset all the pads, etc, etc, etc. So that's probably it just for the really basic overview of Groove Agent. I'll see you in the next lesson when we start to get a bit more detailed. Bye bye.